Hello everyone. Uh, welcome. Yes, it is September. Uh, the first day back to school for all the little ones. And uh, yeah, I just got back a couple of days ago from the cottage. And uh, yeah, I finally, I'm slowly getting caught up. The worst thing about vacation is when you come back, you got about 10,000 things to get caught up on. So I'm trying to do that for the past couple of days. I'm finally sitting down to do my empties video. And yeah, I haven't watched a YouTube video in about nine days. I am so far behind. Uh, it uses way too much data up there. So um, yeah, I was kind of um, uh, internet free for a little while there. So anyway, uh, just before I get started with my empties, I got to tell you, I had uh, the great, a really good fishing trip this time. I caught uh, on the one trip within an hour, I caught two large pike. They were both about 30 inches long. I caught two large bass. Uh, they were about five pounds each. And yeah, Frank was in the boat with me and his friend and his, his girlfriend. And they're all looking at me because I'm like just heaving them in. And they're like, oh my God, what is going on? And then the other boat, there was like three other guys in the other boat. And they looked at the pictures after and go, and they kind of looked at me and looked at the pictures. You caught these? I said, oh yeah, I caught those. So I'm really quite proud of myself. So I'm just going to show you a couple little pictures. Um, because you know what? We always exaggerate. You know, people who fish exaggerate. But uh, I did not exaggerate the size. That's what she said. Uh, so there's my bass. There. And look at that pike. Look at that puppy. Yeah, my arms were quite sore when I was done. Oh, that's just little Abigail sleeping by the fire there. And yeah, look at that thing. Yes, I hauled that in by myself. So anyway, had to get that out of the way. I was quite proud of myself. Um, I usually do catch a few fish in that, but I've never caught fish that big. So anyway, quite proud of myself. So up at the cottage, I took up three candles. One of them was a Yankees fireside, but I didn't finish that. I got a little bit more to go. And then I took up... Uh, Bath and Body Works Vanilla Birch. So I take this up every year. And yeah, I just really love the label on that with the, the birch bark there. I always have very good luck with this candle. No issues with the wicks. Good burn, good throw. Um, yeah, it's definitely, um, it's a woodsy kind of vanilla, not a bakery vanilla, more like a woodsy kind of vanilla. It's so soothing. I really like this one. I um, always buy this every year. I just love that one. And then, um, so in our bedroom up the cottage, I was burning Yankee Candles, Casablanca Lily, and Iris. And luckily, not the, I think it was last year at one of the SAS sales, I uh, did get a couple more of these. Um, the small jar, maybe a large jar. I just love this scent. It is so original. It is a floral scent, but there is this note in there that is spicy, not food spicy. It's just so hard to explain, but it is just the most unique scent. And uh, it's one of those crackle little wicks there. Um, just a, a little bit of soot there. I uh, probably didn't trim it enough, but um, uh, excellent throw. Uh, just filled up the bedroom and then wandered out into the main area. It is just so, so good. I absolutely love this one. Yeah, no issues. Um, man, I just, I'm glad I got maybe one or two more of those. It's just such a unique scent. And then, uh, this one I just finished off this morning. is Bath and Body Works uh, Beach Grass. I might be able to get one more burn out of it. And uh, yeah, this is a, just a really nice greenery scent. It's quite bright on uh, cold. It kind of softens up a bit there uh, when it's burning, but it's just a very soft, pretty greenery scent, maybe a hint of floral, but it just kind of has that fresh air kind of vibe to it too uh, with the greenery scent. So yeah, and that, the label is just gorgeous. Really, really like that one. And then, um, this one I'm going to finish up today, and this is Yankee Candles uh, Berry Bliss. It was um, SAS sale, $4.75 it, uh, cost. Um, 
7.5 ounces. So yeah, I'm going to finish this one up today. It does have a little bit of a tart berry scent instead of like an overly sweet kind of berry scent. Um, I had to burn this in a smaller room though. It uh, kind of got lost in a bigger room, but like my bedroom or my office, it did fairly well. Um, so yeah, I did, I did like it. Wish it was just a little bit stronger. Bath and Body Works Energy. Uh, this is the orange ginger from the aromatherapy line. And I just love this scent in candle form, in pocket back form, in uh, body care form. I just really love the blend of the orange and ginger. It's so bright and refreshing. You can um, you get the orange, but you get that kind of spicy ginger scent too, which kind of warms it up. Uh, but yeah, there was, um, yeah, I had no issues with the wick. Uh, but the throw it filled up the family room and kind of wandered into the eating area so it, the throw was pretty good maybe about a seven or so definitely would repurchase that one now i don't know why i didn't stock up on this one uh, probably because when i went back it was gone um but yeah i hope they bring this out again and that's the strawberry uh pound cake just have to pop out the wax there oh this was so so good uh no issues with the wick uh, the throw was about a 9 out of 10. Uh, very good strawberry scent. I get a little bit of that cake batter in there too. Oh, but it was so, so good. It was just, it just smelled delicious when it was burning. So yeah, I hope they come out with this one again or a different name or whatever. Doesn't matter. Just bring this out again. And then, uh, this is uh, Bath & Body Works uh, Suntan. So this one is another one I get every year because it just screams summer. It's just a beachy, sunscreeny type of scent. Uh, the throw wasn't as strong as I remember it though. Um, in years past, I remember it being a little bit stronger, but I mean, it was about a maybe a six or seven. It did very well in a smaller room, so um, I'm, I can't complain, but yeah, I. It's just one I get every year. I really like that one. And then this is uh, Cucumber and Lily. Now, I didn't get cucumber out of this one. Um, it is a floral. It's, a, it's kind of a bright floral, but not cloying or really sharp. It was a, really a pretty, pretty floral. I just didn't get the cucumber at all on it. This one filled up my bedroom. I only burned this in my bedroom, but it filled up my bedroom and came wandering back here. Uh, I don't I don't remember having any issues really too much with my Bath & Body Works um, burn-wise this month. Um, yeah, I really don't remember any issues with that one. This is Yankee Candles uh, Bay Breeze. And this is probably my favorite ocean scent of all time. It is just so brisk and refreshing oh it is so so good I just love it maybe a little bit soapy but um I probably got soot all over my face here uh, this one this is the second one I burned I remember the first one I burned was a little bit stronger than this one I did burn this in my office or my bedroom and um, yeah it was probably about a medium throw uh, I just remember it being a little bit stronger I do have um, one more of these that I uh, purchased, I don't know if it was a Yankee or it was at uh, one of the discount stores like Home Sense or something, but yeah, it's just my favorite uh, ocean scent. And then uh, this one, yeah, this one wasn't good. This is the Bath & Body Works Saltwater Taffy. And yeah, I just, uh, there was like a smokiness the whole time I was burning it. Uh, I mean, I, I like smoky scents, but not salt water taffy smoky scents. Um, just it, the sweetness really wasn't there. Uh, I just, and the burn really, it was really bad. And I did, uh, no. Big pass with that one. And then this is Discover Tranquility by DW Candle. And this has English cucumber, citrus sage, sugared honey, and sunlit marigold. And this was on clearance for $7. I don't know if I really picked up too many of those notes. Um, I don't know what marigolds, uh, they kind of have a sharp kind of scent to them. I don't know. Uh, 
scent description really doesn't do anything. It was just kind of a soapy floral, very soft, very soothing, um, strong enough to fill up the bedroom, but not overpowering. Uh, so the thrill wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, kind of a uh, little bit of wax left to kind of burn itself out there. So it wasn't it wasn't bad. And this is uh, DW Home Balance, and this is Lime and Neroli. So I had a really, really good burn with this. No issues. It was a two wick. No set. Lovely burn. I just really struggled to smell this. Uh, it smelled great. Like lime, you can smell a little bit of the zesty lime and the neroli. Um, uh, wasn't a true neroli kind of scent. But, it, I mean, it was kind of a greenery, uh, limey kind of scent. Um, it was just very, very light. I mean, it was a great scent. Really, really light. Alrighty. And then, uh, this is Sensational's Aromatherapy uh, Wax Melt, Lemon, Grass, and Sparkling Ginger. So these are, I always find these quite strong. Um, I really do love this. Uh, anything with ginger in it, that zesty kind of ginger, I just love. I uh, love lemongrass. It was a very good combination. Like I said, it was strong, long-lasting. So yeah, I, I'm glad they still have these in the Walmarts. This is Yankee Candle Centerpiece Bahama Breeze. Probably one of the first scents I bought from Yankee, or one of the first scents I bought from Yankee. So yeah, this one, um, just very fruity, uh, tropical drink kind of vibe to it, um, which I really liked. And this is Scentsy's Make Waves. And uh, yeah, this one had um, a fairly good throw and it lasted quite a while in my tea light warmer. But yeah, just very refreshing, kind of soapy, cloney kind of scent. That was long lasting, so I, yeah, I did like that one. I do get through a lot of wax melts. I just seem to get through more candles than wax melts. Um, anyway, uh, this is Yankee Candles uh, Floral Candy. And this was very light, so I, actually, I really can't really tell you too much about it because it was just so light. And this is Dreamy Summer Night. It went through a couple of these uh, wax melts. And yeah, this is such a soothing, musky floral with a little bit of sweetness. Oh, it really is good. It's such a delicious scent. And this is, whoops, uh, Yankees Grilled Peaches and Vanilla. Yeah, I'm not really into peach scents. I just find after a while they start smelling like stale urine or something. Like I just, I'm just not a big fan of the peach scents. I like fresh peaches. If you stuck a bowl of fresh peaches in front of me, I'd love it, but so yeah, this one, um, actually it filled up the kitchen, I gotta say. Um, and this one was one peach scent that didn't smell like urine after a while. Uh, guava Coconut Fusion. Oh, I can't remember. I hit a blank, I don't know. Um, this is, oh, another Bahama Breeze. Um, it did better in the center cup, the throw. Oh, and this is the Seaside Woods. Oh, I love this scent. Um, so I usually just stick my Yankees melts in a smaller room uh, just because they don't throw as well as they used to. I think they're phasing these out um, is what I've heard. But oh, this one's so good. It is such a soothing scent. It's like a woodsy, it's a little bit clony, but it's just so woodsy and soothing and oh, really like that one. Um, oh, got a couple more here. Uh, this is Sensational's Apple Melon. And when I bought it, I thought, oh, it's going to be okay for the summer or nothing. But I really, really do like it. Um, I don't get as, I get more melon than the apple. Oh, but it is, it's really, really good. Yeah, it's strong. It's long-lasting. I definitely get more of the melon, though. And, yeah, I really actually like that. And this is Honey Lavender Ice Cream. Now, you can't get this anymore, but I got about three more of these. I stocked up because I absolutely love this. I know Yankee did a version of this. I think theirs was Honey Lavender Gelato, but I found it kind of light. This one is so, so good. This one is just amazing. Oh, man, I 
I love this one. This is so strong. Like one cube will last forever and uh, yeah, it can handle a big room fine on its own. It's just a, it's such a good blend of honey and lavender. It's more sweet lavender than herbal lavender, but I absolutely love this one and I'm so glad I got some backups. Anywho, oh, my th throat's kind of sore now. Oh, but yeah, um, September already. Holy crap. I'm gonna, it's really, uh, usually the first two weeks in September here are really hot. Maybe I'm going into the third week, but it's supposed to cool down um, into about 20 degrees or so Celsius here for the week or next few days, which is about, I don't know, 70 Fahrenheit. So, ooh, that's my kind of weather. So in, I'll probably stick with the summer scents during the day and then the evening I'll kind of switch over to the fall scents when it kind of cools off in the evenings. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of transitioning there into fall. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed and uh, yeah, um, I really got to get into more of my wax melts there. Um, so I hope you enjoyed and everyone take care. Give your loved ones a hug and kiss and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.